Vicki Pattison was left terrified yesterday after the car she had been in burst into flames. The former Geordie Shore star thankfully got out of the vehicle before it exploded. The 35-year-old was on the busy A1 when the incident happened, leaving her shaken up. She took to Instagram to share what happened with her 5. 4 million followers, with a video of the burning wreckage. Vicky revealed how she and her boyfriend Eric on Ramadan were unharmed and had been helped by a passerby. A place in the sun's Jasmine Harmon wows as she flaunts figure in swimsuit shoot I actually don't even know what to say about what's just happened, Vicky started in a clip. It was absolutely terrifying. We were just driving along in this Uber and Aircon saw that the engine management light was on and then the car started making a really horrible noise. She detailed how the driver pulled over but smoke was already coming out the back of the car. The presenter continued, we were on the A1 so you didn't want to get out and then all of a sudden it just caught fire. Don't miss. Harry and Meghan being frozen out by Hollywood elite due to money fears, latest, Sinead O'Connor's cause of death update given by Coroner, update, Prince William's pal grows close to Michael Owen's daughter Gemma Owen, insight, it just burst into flames and you can see the whole car has exploded. Absolutely terrifying. Vicky said the police had approached them, urging them to get back. She added, some really nice man drove by and picked us up. I'm a little bit shaken up. Alongside an image of what happened, Vicky shared a screenshot, which appeared to show Shed still been charged for the ride. She captioned it, and thank you Uber for charging me 50 pounds for the privilege of nearly being barbecued. Oh and literally being so unbothered when I repeatedly called in distress. Express.co.uk has contacted a spokesperson for Uber for comment. The couple appeared to still manage to have a nice evening out, with Vicky sharing a picture of her cocktail at Sheesh. Three cars, two hours and one near-death experience later. We made it, she wrote. 